repairing the straps. So they come like this, you need to loop them up. So you put the long strap through the loop and pull it through. Now what you don't want is them both to be facing the same way. So if I put that through that one, it's gonna be the same. I need to loop it the other way. So what happens is we've got two facing different ways. When you come to put these onto your hands, the loop part, I think about it running up into my thumb. So as you can see, the loop part is in line with my thumb. I pull the long part through to tighten it on one hand and then put this one onto the other hand, pull that through, make sure it's nice and tight and through. So you can see the loops in line with my thumbs. Right, wrapping onto the bar. So, if you're gripping the bar overhand, which you would be for like an RDL for example, you take your strap, it goes underneath the bar, and I like to put it up against where the gnarling changes, just so they can be even on each hand. You go underneath, you hook it, you wrap it over the top, use your thumb to hold it, wrap it underneath, round again, and hook it through. You then use your hand to hold that top bit so it doesn't unwrap. If I let go, it's gonna unwrap, okay? So you have to use your fingers to hold it. Then you scoot your hand round and grab around the area. Now, the thing is, can you see at the moment, that's loose. So to tighten it, you twist the wrist, use the thumb to hold it, clasp the fingers over further, grab, and then rotate and twist. And you can do that a few times until it's really tight. And you can see here, there's no slack. It's nice and tight to the bar. The tricky part comes in doing the second hand. So with the second hand, because this one's attached to the bar now, you kind of have to use your other hand, uh, fingers to flick it under and grab it. Then tighten it as close as possible, wrap over the top, and under, wrap over the top and under. Use your fingers to take a grasp with your hand. Twist, take your hands back and twist. Now, the only thing now you need to make sure is that your wrists are even. And one isn't this way and the other one the other way. So to do that, you just shuffle them around until they're even and you've got a firm grip. So we've shown you how to wrap it from on top. I'm just gonna show you from the front angle as well. Wrap the underneath, use where the um, gnarling goes from smooth to soft to help gauge you and make sure each hand is even. Wrap it under and wrap it in towards the center of the bar. Use your fingers to hold it, your thumb to hold the long bit and twist into position. Take your other one, again I'm using the gnarling from hard to soft so I can make sure my hands are in an even position. Clasp, twist. Now what you want to make sure you don't end up is like this. So one's tight here and one's tight here. You're not going to be able to lift like that. You need to shuffle them so you're nice and even and where you need to be. You also need to make sure you don't tighten one out here and one up close because when you lift the weight, you're going to be off balance. You need to make sure you are even on the bar to pick that weight up. If you're slightly one way when you're trying to do the exercise, you're going to be off centre. The other thing to consider is that when you have lifted the weight up, you're more securely attached to this bar. You can't just drop it. If you did that, it's still gonna take a split second for it to unroll. So make sure you re-wrap safely, release the hands and unroll like so.